What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with a Yacht Tender guy. Today, it's Saturday, we're outside Fort Lauderdale. It's a nice, calm day. We are on board a 2017 SV Yachts Custom Alpha 39. You don't really see too many of these out there. One of the things that really excites us at YTG is the fact that we're able to be out on different boats. We're getting familiar with different boat manufacturers, getting familiar with different features. And I mean, just look at this. Right now, I feel like I'm on an alien spaceship. So the first thing you'll notice in the interior of this boat is the height of the gunnels. Look at the size of this. I'm six foot tall. You can see it reaches up to my waist. So if you have small kids, you can be sure that they're gonna feel safe. So we look up over here at the bow area. We have two dedicated seats with cup holders. They do have hatches underneath, so you can open those up and you have some storage. You have a dedicated cooler in here as well. So it's a nice uh, insulated ice box. Now, as we go up here, basically open this hatch, and then we have our windlass. So it's nice because you don't have the windlass sticking out. It creates a nice look from the exterior. You control your anchor from the helm station, which we'll get into. This boat, it's highly technological. Everything is controlled through the Simrad systems. We'll get into that a bit later. Over here, you see this hatch. It's basically where we have access to the bow thruster. So if any repairs or anything needs to be done on the boat, you have the battery in here, and then obviously access to the bow thruster behind that. So what we have here is a pretty sizable head. You have comfortable entry into the toilet. You have a sink on the right side, and then on the left side, you have a nice little bench. If you have small kids, you can uh, put them in there to take a nap, or you just have some uh, place to sit down when you're at the head. And then obviously behind the mirrors, you have access to all of the electronics and the wiring that we have behind the helm station. I'm gonna close this off. The forward pad, it is on a U-shaped uh, form, but just to give you an idea for reference, if I sit down, it's nice and comfy. You can lay two more people down over here. It's not a boat for everybody, I will tell you that. The customer that's looking for this boat, it's somebody that really wants to stand out, wants something different that you don't really see out there, and wants a good, comfortable, high-speed cruising ride, which is what this boat is all about. It's high-speed performance. As we come up to the helm, you notice the curves on the windshield, really, really nice. And then up top on the uh, hard top as well, which is Kevlar reinforced, you notice that the curves follow as well. So over here, we're entering my favorite part about this boat, greeted by the three oversized displays, which control everything. We have our charts, we have our engine data, we have our night vision, um, we have our instruments. This particular boat is equipped with a C-Zone, which is a pretty cool feature, it controls everything on the boat so this particular customer has already two modes set up he has cruising mode which basically activates everything that he needs to get the boat operational and then he also has night cruising which basically it's the same but for night cruising which the boat lights up but to give you a quick insight into it if i go here to control monitor basically i get my screen that gives me all my information i have access to all my pumps my lighting my navigation my engine management which is honestly a pretty cool feature on this boat as well. It's a speed boat, so like I said, you have uh, different things that uh, come into play from the traditional outboard center consoles that we are usually out on. Um, but here, what I'm gonna do right now is basically lift up the engine hatch just to show you what is powering this boat. So as I mentioned earlier, this does have a repower. This particular owner, he wanted some engines that were a little bit more family friendly. This boat originally used to do around 80 uh, knots, which honestly, it's if you've ever been on a boat and have been at 80 knots, uh, I can tell you it's sketchy sometimes. Um, but regardless, the boat is still pretty capable. We saw a top speed today of roughly 47 knots, uh, which is pretty fast still. So here we have a pair of 2021 8.2 liter V8 big blocks from Mercury Marine. And these engines, they're built tough. They're, they are a bit loud, but like I said, it's a speed boat. You want that feel when you're on this boat and it puts a smile on your face, honestly. 
Each engine is putting out 430 horsepower each. So let's go ahead and shut that out. Now I'm not gonna get into all the details of what all these switches are, cause it's basically as if I had all the physical switches, but I just have them on a standard screen. Um, and then, like I said, Simrad. If you're familiar with Simrad, you'll know that they're a great company and they do great products. So everything is pretty user friendly. We have a steering wheel that we've seen on previous uh, videos, uh, for instance, like the Fairline, like the uh, Bravest models, where you have uh, access to your audio, your bow thruster, your windlass controllers, and the actual steering wheel, which is kind of nice. One thing that's really different from this boat that I haven't seen on any other boat is the fact that we have paddle shifters. No, they're not really for gears. These paddle shifters, they're controlling the trim tabs. So yes, in a speedboat, when you are cruising at high speeds, you want to have both hands on the steering wheel. And the easiest way for you to be able to adjust your trim tabs is by having them on the actual uh, steering wheel with these paddle shifters, uh, which honestly just, it's really, really cool. <laughs> uh, nothing else to it. And then aside from that, as in the helm, that's pretty much it. It's pretty minimalistic. Uh, like I said, it does look like a spaceship. You tell me on your on your opinions. Let us know if you like this type of uh, helm station or if you want something a little bit more traditional. We have two seats, okay, uh, facing forward, and then they convert into facing aft seats as well. We have storage underneath both of these two seats. We have access to fuel tanks and then bilge area as well underneath these two hatches. And then two more comfortable seats facing forward. Now as we walk on back through this little walkway into the stern of the boat, we have uh, two sun pads. So obviously not the biggest sun pads, but you still can lay down there and have some sun. Notice to the sides of that that we do have the vents. So this boat is controlled through the screens. Um, you have access to open these vents up to let uh, air come in into the engine room and then as I keep on going back not your traditional platform but it follows the curves of the boat so it's got it keeps that uh, unique style to it now over here in the middle area you have uh, the ladder that comes out and gives you access on board and stows away nicely so like I said the boat is different you do have a lot of the uh, curves going through it so let us know guys in the comments down below do you think this boat is sexy do you think it looks like an alien do you like it do you dislike it it is different so keep that in mind uh, it's not for everybody like i said before but for that particular customer that's looking for a unique boat that stands out and is looking for a high speed uh family friendly boat this may be the one for you one thing that i did mention up top on the hard top we do have a flirt camera so a nice night vision camera that is neatly integrated into it so i kind of i really like it how they we're able to fit that in there. It fits the profile of the boat really nicely. And again, controlled by the screen. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Like I said before, I really like the fact that we're able to take out different boats every once in a while and just getting familiar with uh, new products, different brands, different features. Um, it's a perk, honestly, and we're, I'm really happy to, to be a part of it. I'm really happy with Nautical Ventures to allow us to be able to do this for them. Like I said, this boat is available through Nautical Ventures. Uh, current list price is 240,000 US dollars. So if you're interested in this boat, we'll leave the contact information in the description below. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and as always, leave likes, leave comments. It really helps us. Uh, grow and we'll be able to do even more of these in the future for you guys. I'm Alejandro with YTG and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.